Do you find it hard to debug Java 8 streams? I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to make it easier in IntelliJ. So say that you have a string. Like this. And you want to sort this string in alphabetic order and then pick the first five characters. You would expect to get something like this. And when you pick the first five, So let's try writing that as a stream. We need to split the string into characters. Next we convert it into a stream of characters instead of a stream of strings. Next we sort it. We limit it to the first five characters. Then we convert it back into a stream of strings. And finally, we collect it together into a single string. Now we can store the results and print it out. Already you can see that IntelliJ gives, gives us some help by showing the type of each step here. But let's see what it prints out. Well, this doesn't look like the string that we were expecting. So now, how would we go about to debug this? Well, we can actually set a breakpoint here and then run it in debug mode. And then you'll see that we have this little button here that is called trace current stream chain. And if we press that, it allows us to see each step of the stream and what is happening as it's uh, processed. So if we go to right here, we can see that we begin by this. We have every character as a string. Next, we get every character as a car instead. And next, we see that we have these ones. And the reason for that is that this sort is being performed using the code point rather than the alphabetic value. And that's the reason why all the capital letters are placed before all of the lowercase letters. And then when we limit it and then collect it, this error remains. So what we need to do is fix this uh, sorted operation. So we close this down and then we go here and we can specify our own comparator. And a good way of creating a comparator when working with Keras is to use comparing int. And this is a method that you can import statically from the comparator interface. And then we simply say character colon to lowercase. And we can import it statically. So now we're going to compare the characters by first applying the to lowercase method and then comparing the numeric value. So if we rerun it, and press this button. We have the same characters over here, converted into cars, but then you can see that we get the D E E E M, just as expected. So this really shows how powerful it is to use IntelliJ for debugging. But right now you might be wondering, what is this speedment that we've been playing around with? Well, speedment is a tool for doing exactly this, but with databases instead. So without having to write any complicated code, you can get a stream over the rows of a database table. And this works with these kind of debugging tools as well. So I'm going to show how to use it. So I have used Speedment to generate code in this product. So this is the only code file I've written myself. And then I'm going to set up a database connection. So I have a database called Sakila. So I'm going to create a new Sakila application builder. And this has been generated. And then I say with username, and with password. And these are the credentials that I use to connect to my database. And then I finalize the class by calling build. Let's store this in a local variable and call it app. Next, I need to get access to the table I want to do something with. In this case, the table is called film. So the instance that I need is a film manager. So I take app, get or throw, and then a film manager. Store it in a local variable and we can call it films. 
And now I can create a stream by just taking films.stream. So for an example, we could filter out all of the film with a length that is less than 60 minutes. And then we can collect them into a list. Let's call it short films. Import this. And then we need to fix the type here. Now we can do the same thing as we did previously. We set a breakpoint and then we debug it. We press the trace button. And here you can see that I have 1000 films in the database. These are being filtered down into 96 when we apply the uh, length filter. And these are the ones that are collected into a single list. Now, this might be a little bit scary at first. You think that, well, does it actually pull down the entire table and filter them client side? Yeah, when debugging, this is what is uh, happening. But when you're running it in a non-debugging environment, what is happening is that this filtering is being done on the database side instead. So Speedrunt will take this entire stream and collapse it down into a single SQL query. Isn't that cool? If you want to learn more about Speedment, please check out our other videos.